I'd like to show you one more script that I've developed for a special controller from Argentina from Yale Tech. They're a small company that allows you to build your own controllers online and then configure it exactly how you want. So together I built the hardware with them and then developed a script very specifically for this and for how I work in the studio. Again, I love having hands-on and this connects to the Bitwig arpeggiator and turns it into kind of like an analog sequencer. This script can work in many different modes, but right now we have four lines of control. We have the note, we have an offset for the note, we have velocity and we have gate time. We also have these controls down here to do things like step length and gate length. So let's open up the steps. So these are changing the note. What's interesting here for performance is the second row is an offset of the note. So I can change it, and as soon as I press it again, I go back to that original note so that I know that I'm gonna go back to the melody and the sequence that I had. Again, this is how I work in the studio, jamming along and making small little changes you know, as I get this hypnotic pattern going and then just kind of jam with it. Let's look a little bit on the parameters we can change. Using step length and velocity, we can quickly change the sequence on the fly. As you can hear, having a script that connects very closely to a controller allows you to really perform your music, to capture it in a live sense on stage or in your studio and make sure there's still some kind of human interaction with you and the machines.